Hey, what is up, guys? This is Orion Lone Star here with another episode of Agrarian Skies. Oh my, have I been busy today. Um, put up a video yesterday getting you caught up on what's going on. And now, I, since I have the past two days off, I have been busy. As I've told you guys before, I wanted to get into the big reactors, get my reactor up and going for energy for days. I've done that. Um, just a real simple uh, design. And if I'll go through how I made it uh, with the reactor castings, you want to put down a full base of how big your reactor is going to be. Mine's a simple 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Uh, that means 5 on each side, 5 up. And the entire base here is filled in and then you just need the shell around it of reactor ca casing. Sorry and then you need reactor glass um, a lot of this is real expensive to get especially if you do not have a large quantity of sulfur um, I've been busy making sulfur by pulverizing coal just regular coal and I've gone through a ton Don't, you know added a bunch and then started taking them out, pulverizing them until I've had more than enough sulfur to create eulorium. Eulorium is real, real big in the big reactors mod. So let's go. All right. To create a re reactor casing, let's click it here. You need one eulorium ingot, four graphite bars, and four steel ingots. Um, as you guys know, I said I was going to be working on getting my steel production up. And here it is. Real simple, I, except I made it too high, which will allow me to put one extra stack in. Now, to make steel... Uh, you obviously need a high oven and don't forget the lever uh, the lever is what turns it on turns it off you also need to take some of the, I took some of the extra wood that I've had made charcoal apparently the high oven only works with charcoal so don't forget about that uh, scorched brick it's actually pretty easy to make Um, all you do is go cook up some clay to make your brick and then you bring your brick over here to your casting table put it down and then you'll want I believe yeah seared stone and that's just one stone or cobblestone uh, per brick that you're going to make. Um, you can you know quicken that by with the by making the blocks themselves but you're going to need bricks anyway but you just make with your bricks you just make a regular brick block then put it into the basin and it takes uh, four stone melted into a seared stone for per brick you know eight per or per brick block eight per brick uh, millibuckets of seared stone um, yeah that was almost a tongue twister there anyway let's go 
back over here. To make the seared oven, a few things you need. You need the high oven controller and you need a drain. Uh, I know there's another drain that you can put on that you can actually put pipes to, but when I make my steel, I prefer just the simple little basin or casting table. But anyway, you put your gunpowder up top here. It's uh, one gunpowder to make steel. It's one iron, one gunpowder, one redstone, and two sand. Um, to get that started, you know, I'll actually let's make some. I could always use a little more steel. Okay, take that. What I tend to do, I tend to split my stacks in half because it'll allow me to get more at once. But when I said it's one, one, and two, it's per. So each time you know these complete it's going to be two two and four so you need to make sure you have a good amount of sand on hand because it will run out quick anyway you come here you turn it on as you see it's lit up and tells you it's working uh, you'll need to make sure that when you do this, uh, you just leave the middle of a 3x3 three three space clear, top it off, and make sure you just have all your controllers and everything in place to get this to work. The maximum uh, that they say, there is no max, but after you m make it 8 high, you know, so that's eight empty spaces in in the middle. In the middle, you you'll be able to put up to eight stacks. But as you see, you know the high oven's heating up. Um, generally, your best efficiency is when it gets to two thousand, and you know your iron just melts down to molten steel in no time. At that point. Um, but it usually takes about six to ten coals to get it up to that point. So hopefully you have quite a few stacks ready to be uh, broken down. Anyway, back to big reactors. Um, when you start making your reactor casings here, make sure you make a bunch of them. Because when you make the reactor glass, it requires a casing. When you make controller, it requires a casing. Power tap, casing. Ton of casing. Then you got your Yellorium fuel rods in the middle there. Um, you only need one, but you can stack it up to three. And then you got your controller rod up here, which you know controls how high it is. Um, I'm not using a whole lot of energy right now, so I've actually brought my controller rod up so that the fuel burn-up rate is much lower, doesn't produce as much flux per tick. I believe at 100% it does like 1 or 1400 flux per tick. Might be 16. But I, either way, as you can see, you know, bring it up uh, brings up the fuel consumption rate, heat, um, to help reduce the heat, I'm using Enderium, or not Enderium, but Resident Ender. Uh, looking into it, Resident Ender is one of the best coolants other than the cryoithid gel, which requires blaze powder or blizz powder. Don't have that yet. I can have it fairly soon, but I have easy access to a ton of resident ender what I have in this tank plus I can make more 
you know my tower here has produced a ton of ender pearls and since I'm not using as much uh, ender pearls in the ender generators you know I was able to easily fill this up with the resident ender as well as you know I've made me a few tesseracts that I have so I can take energy wherever I want and not have to really worry about having all the different conduits and everything everywhere so I got that done and let's take a look at the book here I have a ton of quests I need to fill um, you know to get steel you know I did go through make my high oven controller scorch drain scorch brick scorch duct as you saw on that so let's turn this quest in uh, I'm gonna go with the graveyard soil cuz I really don't have any use for the scorched brick so we'll claim that we also got scorched brick quarter of a heart reward bag let's go see what type of reward I've got in the reward bag first let's go dump my extra inventory here I've been working hard getting everything set up I'll show you that here in a little bit Bloop. anyway let's go see my reward up oh, looks like I've got all the music discs and all that I was hoping not to get this reward but eh. Ew, I'm running out of space here well, that's cool and I've now got tunes get rid of that get rid of that all right what was that huh all right let's go heavy armor I already went through making the steel leggings just like you make all your other armor except with steel got another quarter of a heart and a basic reward bag so writing pick okay I really don't care about that but and then uh, also did this deep tank quest which requires you to make a deep tank controller I'm not going to go into the deep tanks at least yet so all I did was make the controller let's claim that reward and he's right behind me isn't he yes he is bam oh, that's kinda of loud let me turn that down anyway so let's take a look at my reward bag some beef jerky oh yay food that's not really concerned um, then I went ahead made the leadstone jetpack it does help quite a bit because um, now I can fly can't really hover but I go down slowly so and I went ahead and made me another resonant flux capacitor because we've already made one for the completion of chapter one so went, went ahead did that yeah. and I also made the energetic infuser so that I can recharge it and now that I have my reactor hooked up to this battery 
it's a piece of cake. Um, I've got it hooked up with a Tesseract. Yeah, just energy. That's all I have being pumped into that channel. So I can use it over here and wherever. Same channel and really not have to worry about how much energy or how many ender pearls I have in a generator. I can do it all from here. You know, not even producing a thousand and I'm working great. I'm probably going to turn it down until I need more. We'll also slow our, you know, fuel burn up rate. Okay, so about 680. Still more than plenty. Um, I can probably run my lava fabricator almost indefinitely when it's on high. Um, haven't checked with lowering it. But I've also been making plutonium. Um, plutonium can be used as a fuel source. But it's also the waste that the Elorium ingots produce after they've been depleted. So, once I'm out of Elorium, which I've been taking steps to make sure I'm not, I can use plutonium if I need to. Plutonium can also be used in later recipes to further your big reactor. But we can go into that later when I actually get into it so yeah it's still going down but I'm not using a whole lot of energy right now anyway so that's fine um, also I made a sawmill to kinda of complete most of my little tasks Especially when I was filling in down here, as you can see, I now have a second layer. Uh, with that, I actually crafted a uh, builder's wand, which requires wand, builder's wand, a stick surrounded by diamonds. And because I've got pretty much free diamonds coming non-stop, you know, a little slow, but they still show up. Um, <laughs> you know, I decided to go with that instead of making the unstable. You guys are annoying me. Now, ever since I switched this over to a grinder uh, holy crap I have some cleaning to do um, put a trash can here but got a grinder to make mob essence and yes as you know mob essence into a auto spawner um, now what I did I needed a lot of sulfur I still do so what I've been doing is I took an angry doll well I okay, took my angry doll throw them in some witch water over here now that what that'll do that'll uh, produce a blaze and when I was completing chapter one I actually got a reward that gave me like 16 gas tears I believe it was so that gave me the idea to take a gas tier for ender pearls and make me a safari ball a reusable safari ball that's big uh, because with the auto spawner you cannot use your single use safari balls they have to be the reusable 
So let's go down and take a look at what I've got going on. Spawn. Okay. What I got going on here is my mob tower. That's producing all my mob essence. That's why I've got the grinder there. Um, mob essence, you need a ton of it to produce whatever creature you want. Um, I've been using a lot of blazes. I've got a setup so I can I just barely peek. And what's great is my mob tower produces enough mob essence that I can run this non-stop as long as my reactor has fuel. And this, look at that, does not even lose any. It's just non-stop filling. Now I've got this grinder right here doing the same thing, filling that. You know, obviously it's not going to produce as much to keep it constantly going, but my mob tower is doing great. I um, also got a slaughterhouse over here that I just made a little pit. I could throw chickens, cows, whatever into there to get pink slime. I was looking into getting into lasers, but it were only thing for the... Uh, laser capacitors you need pink slime you can't use coagulated blood green slime can't do it. it has to be pink slime only way you can get pink slime a slaughterhouse so okay hit you from the side so I'm just using basic fluid duck hardened tanks feeding into my mob spawner and then I got this as you can see one tesseract runs both of those hooked up to my reactor I love it I still got like made about four other tesseracts five other just so I can have power You know, this would be a whole lot louder if you've ever made a blaze spawner or been, ow, been around one, they're loud. Um, so I made me a sound muffler so I don't have to hear them. And boy, have they been giving me a lot of great stuff. I mean, they're giving me uh, spell books, uh, boats, paintings. Spider eyes, ender lilies, got me a couple trophies, stones, and oh my gosh, look at this, Invar. Armor and weapons. Yeah, but all I've been really going after it for, blaze rods, so I can make sulfur to make yellorium. Because the next thing I plan to go after is my laser laser mine um, oh yeah going back to the uh, builders wand what it'll allow you to do okay, do I have, okay I have a good charge on my jetpack is allow you to place a small row of blocks at a time so when you're building like a platform like this you know creep along and it will build a whole row not a whole row, but a good big section of a row at a time. Um, the creative one will do a whole row of whatever. Um, but you got to make sure you have the blocks in your inventory to do it. Um, I made a sawmill specifically for this. Um, I initially tried it, the builder's wand, with just oak wood, oak wood slabs. Um, it always puts it down a single row, so I actually had to go through make a line of full the full wooden planks. Instead of just the slabs. 
Uh, but now that I've got my, oh, I can't jump. You know, I've got my reactor. I've got a way to make more than plenty of sulfur and to make eulorium it's just sulfur and pulverized tin but it can't be the uh, El Nihino tin it actually has to be tin you take in a pulverizer but it's a one to one ratio on that so one stack to one stack take it make the eulorium blend in a crafting station then take that Put it in a redstone furnace, and then you got your eulorium ingots, which become your power source. So now that I've got that up and going, you know, I plan to, like I said, we're going after the lasers, laser mining. As well as build a few other things uh, I want to get into the ME computer system why are you off oh Anyway, uh, while I clean up everything here, uh, I hope you guys liked what you uh, saw. Um, if you want me to go more in depth on how I built something, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah. yeah.